<laughs> okay, it's uh, 20 question time. of This is something we just started uh, with Melanie Hunter when she was on. And now her partner in crime on News 4 Tucson today, Jeff Beamish is with us. Meteorologist Jeff Beamish, I might add. And also that hour-long um, uh, noon show, right, Jeff? No, let's not forget about that hour-long noon newscast. I know you yeah. don't. If, no, I don't. If you did, you'd be in trouble. I would probably not be here right now representing News 4 Tucson. <laughs> no, you so might be that. here, but not yet. Yeah. All right, so let's do the 20 questions. Fire. Uh, a lot of them the same that Melanie got, so uh, you may have more of a heads up than she did. She definitely didn't do anything with 50 shades. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> favorite color? Blue. Okay. Where were you born? St. Paul, Minnesota, Midway Hospital. Wow, very, ooh, the hospital even. Sibling. <laughs> well, where else would I be born? I don't know. I don't know. You, I don't know the hospital I was born in. Actually, oh, okay. it doesn't exist anymore. They tore it down. Nor does, yeah, nor does Midway Hospital. Anyways. Okay, right. Siblings. Oh, boy. I have a half-brother, a step-brother, and a sister. Nice. Blended family. I like that. Me too. Hobbies. Chasing my two-and-a-half, almost three-year-old daughter around, hanging out with my wife, cooking, hockey, golf. Yeah. Okay. Pets. Pets. None at the moment. None at the moment. Why did you get into TV? I got into TV because when I was five years old, I'd watch these meteorologists giving folks updates on severe weather, and I thought, boy, that's really cool. I want to be one of those guys or gals, and sure enough, now I'm doing it. Now you're doing it since, yeah. since five? Since five. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, role models in the industry right now or previous or whatever. Role models in the industry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, role Brian models in Goddard, who okay. works at today's TMJ in Milwaukee, the NBC mm -hmm. affiliate. Okay. Uh, Dave Dahl, who I grew up watching. Uh -huh. And, oh boy, who else here? Anybody that was on the Weather Channel in the early 90s. Wow. Okay. So, uh, Mancuso. That Mancuso guy. Yeah, that's right. And Jim Cantore. Jim Cantore, Cantor, of course. Yeah. Favorite TV show... You're not on. Favorite TV show that I am not currently on. Correct. Oh, boy. Melanie said The Office. Yeah. I almost went there, yeah. but uh -huh. I'm going to go with Seinfeld. All right. Seinfeld it is. Yes. Walking Dead? I asked her about that, too. Walking Dead? No. No? All right. Music? Oh, boy. What do you like for music? S a little bit of everything. Okay. Springsteen, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. We've discused that oh, yeah. ad nauseum <laughs> about Springsteen. Uh, anything from Springsteen to Coldplay to Jay-Z. Okay. Um, last movie you saw in the theater or saw saw? Uh, both. Let's do both. Last movie I saw in a theater was the five year engagement with my wife. Okay. Uh, and the last movie that I saw had to have been the OJ documentary on ESPN. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I just realized my pinky finger may have been covering up the microphone. I hope not. Okay. Uh, <laughs> favorite book. Favorite book. Uh, definitely the Steve Jobs. book. Massive book that came out a few years ago. It's okay. fantastic. All right. Uh, favorite subject in school? Science. Yep. That makes sense. Yep. Favorite place to eat? Favorite place to eat in Tucson. Favorite place to eat? El Charo. El Charo. Yep. El Charo Norte on Oracle? The one in Oral Valley actually yeah. is really good. Yeah. Is that yeah. the one you're talking about? Yeah. Well, actually, no, the downtown one. Oh, the downtown one. Okay. That's the best. That's the best. Yeah. Uh, favorite travel destination and why? Favorite travel destination? And Puerto Rico. Reason why. Mm -hmm. I would say Breezy Point, Minnesota. We used to have a timeshare up there. And uh, it's a lot of fond share? memories of growing up and having what? summer vacation. Is it like, is there a lake? Oh, yeah, there's a lake. <laughs> Lucky oh, yeah. guess. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. Big lake, Pelican Lake. It's beautiful. Timeshare. So when they were selling you the timeshare, did they did you get a free microwave for sitting through the <laughs> Yeah. No. One of those like AM, <laughs> FM radios. Uh, right, right, yeah, right, right. One of those little deals. Is that a thing? Do they really do that? No, they don't. Okay, all right, fine. All right, fine. Um, pick one. Beach, mountain, forest, or city? Beach. Mountain. Okay, Beach. All right. I'm, I'm still a mountain. We've got two beaches and one mountain. Ah. Favorite hike in Tucson? Favorite hike in Tucson, Linda Vista Trailhead, Oral Valley. Wow. That was Melanie's, too, and that's mine, Seriously? too. Seriously? Yeah. Okay, now my favorite hike and in southern Arizona yeah. would be Marshall Gulch up on Mount Ah, uh, see, I've never tried that. Oh, that you need to. Good. It's I a would great love one. To, right. It's a great one. And uh, I've, I've yet to do Finger Rock, which I want to do that. Oh, grueling. All right, the one I changed, so this one's different than Melanie's. Favorite hockey team? Favorite just, hockey team. Just for you, Jeff. Oh, man. Well, of course I'm going to say the Tucson Roadrunners. Right. But also the Minnesota Wild, who are having okay. an outstanding season right now. Right. That's what I expected. Yep. Uh, what does your future look like? 
Mostly dark with a chance of light by morning. <laughs> nice. No, I'm Thank you, George Carlin. <laughs> exactly. Because it, we're doing this at 5.15 in the evening. Sun's right. going to go down soon. There's going to mm-hmm. be a chance of light by morning. Okay. No, the future looks bright. Very, very bright. Right, yeah. With a wife and a daughter, how can it not? Yeah, very good. Okay, and uh, craziest day in the newsroom. Crazy, oh man, craziest day in the newsroom. Mm-hmm. Uh, weather related? It can be. It can be. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would have to go probably with the night that I was giving updates on the flooding on the Tanka Verde wash. I was there till yeah. 2 in the morning. Right. We yeah. talked about that last month when you were on. Yeah. And um, and I forgot to ask you then, because you, you were on in the evenings. You were filling in for someone, weren't you? for Jimmy Stewart. Yeah. yeah, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, that was a really, you did a great job Thank that you. night. Yeah. Thank you. That was uh, one of those memorable moments that will go with me for the rest of life because I, to this day, don't ever recall telling people to get out of their homes and head for higher ground. Okay. The immediacy. The immediacy. Right. Yeah, the immediacy of it. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's the FBI. How often does that happen here? Not very. Jeff Beamish, ladies and gentlemen, uh, News 4 Tucson Today, meteorologist. Don't forget the hour-long noon show. At Jeff Beamish on the Twitters. Facebook, he's Jeff Beamish Weather. I'm on Snapchat. Snapchat? I'm Snapchatting. At Jeff Beamish? No filters, though. All right, yeah. All right, very good. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you.